Hello guys and girls, we are here with another video In uh, this one I'm gonna share my journey, I'm gonna talk about the cage of identity And how I got out of it, so 11-11-2019 The spiritual awakening got triggered and uh, I've been thrown um, in this identity crisis um, You know, the spiritual growth has begun My soul took over and uh, yeah, I'm gonna share how how I observed my ego and how my ego reacted in all this uh, situation, so you can uh, have a uh, um, and, and um, actually an idea on what is gonna happen in your own ego and how to deal with it. So yeah, identity, your ego, guys, girls, your ego is going to try to persuade you into believing what uh, it is projecting so it can perpetuate itself in you and uh, your suffering okay so you know this the spiritual awakening has been triggered and then i wake up in this uh, new world where i was aware that someone was aware of my whole entire existence of my thoughts and of uh, my emotion and everything that is, was going inside me and this was my consciousness, my true self, okay, my higher self, my soul and me being aware, me being aware that someone else was aware of me, that was my awareness, that was my awareness, the awareness from the mind and the other was my consciousness, my, the truth of who I am. And yeah, that was my ego. That was my ego that someone has, that someone is aware of my whole entire existence. Who is that? That is aware. That was my ego. That was my, my old identity. Where I streamer, a live streamer on Twitch. And um, yeah, I was waking up. I was connecting with my aware, with the truth of who I am, with my consciousness and with this deeper, deeper deeper sense of who I am and um, I realized uh, as my old ego as my old identity goes uh, you know it was getting crazy because it was afraid to die it I, I realized that that identity is all about things it is is all about getting attached to okay it, it, it's all about getting attached that's to everything, labeling everything, judging everything. That's what I realized, and and uh, in the beginning, I, I was creating uh, fr from a place fr from a place of fear through this identity. I, I was creating through this identity, and um, I, I was saying I was trying to answer to everybody. And uh, yeah, this identity was crying inside me. How are you gonna survive with only the love that those people uh, give you? How are you gonna pay your bills? Uh, how how are you gonna? They, how can you survive out of that life? Okay, this this identity, this ego, you know, was trying to stop me was trying to you know to hold me back from yeah from my higher from my higher self okay how are you gonna make it uh, you know fear fearful patterns uh, attachments conditions roles uh, limitations survival mode on along the journey I realized that that was a mirror. It was a mirror, and I keep kept <laughs> kept uh, contributing this energy myself. I was giving my energy to this ego, to this identity, and um, even though I was saying, I felt drained, I felt tired. I, I wasn't in the present moment in the beginning. I wasn't in the present moment. Um, 
say that felt tired, you know, all the single patterns, fear of abandonment, abandonment issues, all those limitations were coming up through um, my soul to, to dissolve, okay, to be processed, to be felt, to be released. And now I was exactly where I was supposed to be. I was exactly there. But the, there was such, such a chaos inside me, you know. The, this ego, this identity, this cage of identity was starting to dissolve, okay. And every subconscious program inside me, <laughs> everything was happening so perfectly, so, so, so perfectly. Co- completely aligned, you know. But, uh, um, completely aligned so I can dissolve those things. So, th- there was this, th- there was this, I don't know how to call it, this chaos, but this order at the same time. This, I, I was feeling lost and found at the same time, I, uh, because I was connecting with my true self, and at the same time, when this connection was happening inside me, the identity, the cage of the identity, the old self was going crazy. And the questions that uh, was coming up in my mind, am I going crazy? What is this? And yeah, th- those are, were, were, were the mirrors of my old self. I felt that, like I need to prove something. I, I, I need to not disappoint all those people that uh, uh, trust me and support me. And uh, <laughs> there was this conditional thinking, this thinking of separation, 3D matrix, fear-based thinking that um, f- that was full of conditions and doing, full of doubts and fear. And I've been living in that. Uh, I've been living in, 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 I've been living in this mind for years and years and years and years and suddenly I realized around two, 2021 2022 maybe 2022 maybe nothing of this loss of duality would work in this new frequency band. Okay, conditions, expectations, control, identity, attachments, and it all, dis- it all dissolves. That's, 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 it all dissolves, it all falls away. That's the old identity, that's the cage. That's the cage of the matrix, the cage that we were put in through our education, okay? And these old ways do not work anymore. It's like I've outgrown them since I connected with uh, the truth of who I am. And uh, uh, it, it was a comfort zone that I had to break. And... This identity, it feels like it's an outer real. It's the outer part of who I am now. It's 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 like I'm the ocean, and this identity, this identity is the wave. And as long uh, as long I am creating through this. As long as I'm separated from the rest of the ocean, I experience depression, sadness, uh, negativity, problems, uh, suffering in this life. But the moment I realized I'm the entire ocean, I was able to enjoy life. This is this happened around 2022, in the beginning of 2022, through a lot of experiences and through a lot of changes. But as I realized that I'm the whole ocean, I suddenly began to enjoy life, to have fun, to 
to really get to meet the other waves, which is the other people, and really enjoy those interactions and really find the love in the present moment. I, I really found the love in the present moment in everything I do. Now I'm um, in this beautiful, 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 beautiful space and state of being where I'm completely surrendered into the present moment. I'm not in the present moment. I mean the present moment, but I surrender to the present moment. I accept what is and I realize that most of it is a co-creation of my past. Okay, and there is this buffer of time. And at the same time, there is this old cage of identity. There is still a small part inside me where it holds to judge, to judge back. Where um, it wants to feed off that old creation. Because when you put enough awareness inside you, the programs, the old identity, that cage of the old identity, the subconscious programs that are fear-based, based on limitations, can no longer feed from you. And they will try to feed off the, the drama, to feed off the negativity, the toxicity, the gossips uh, from the other people, from, from uh, the mainstream media. They, they're going to try to feed itself from wh what you are consuming, what from through what content you are consuming. If you are watching... Uh, I you know mainstream media, it's all about fear projection, wars, pandemics and uh, sicknesses, you know, and yeah, it's all about that. And when you uh, sign in the lot of your awareness inside those programs, that identity, these kids is going to try to feed from everything out there. And uh, that stops, that really stops you. you you are destroying the last parts of this uh, dysfunctional cage, of this dysfunctional identity, the moment you completely surrender into the present moment. And uh, in instead of judging back, instead of um, uh, projecting, instead of acting through your ego, you completely surrender into the present moment, you, tr you transcend, you become the observer of the ego, and uh, you you respond through through your soul through this transcendent dimension of ego consciousness inside you, and uh, everything begins to dissolve when you connect with this transcendent dimension inside you. When that happens inside you, you can do it right now. It's all about discovering. It's not something you have to achieve. It's about discovering. When you when you want to achieve something, it's uh, it takes time. When you want to discover, it's something right there inside you, right now, right here. It's inside you. It's right there inside you. It's the presence, the stillness, the consciousness. If you go no thought, you will be able to connect fully with that. But um, you see, between the space. In, in the space between your thoughts, you can still spot that. Who are you when you are not thinking? Who are you between those moments in your reality when there is no thought? That's, that's the deeper part of who you are. And when that, when you connect with that, you can now, you can now, and when you get in the present moment and, um, uh, when you actually surrender, because surrender is getting deeper into the present moment, that's where you now stop your ego from feeding itself out there. And that's the moment you are, be you are beginning to completely getting detached from the matrix. And that's the moment you are setting yourself free. This is the last part. The first part is to recognize inside, to put awareness inside, 
because the change is always coming from inside and then when you understand how your mind is thinking when you observe the unconscious mind and you're no longer acting unconscious during the day you stop it you observe it you put the, you shine in the light of awareness in there and then when you stop the mind when you put awareness when the mind is trying to feed itself from the outer reality that is a product of the past i repeat that this is a product product of the of your cage of identity of your old cage there is the buffer of time at the same time i'm two years and a half in my spiritual awakening at the same time i see the creation of my new self it's manifesting out there out there but you need to have super high levels of awareness in your day-to-day life so you can set yourself free from suffering from creating your own problems through your mind you need to have super high level of awareness to connect with your heart and also to be able to observe and stop going unconsciously stop acting unconscious in your day-to-day life and yeah now you live now you are free you are no longer limited by this cage of identity. You are no longer limited by the ego. A deeper dimension has opened inside you. A dimension where you are timeless, where you are nothing from this reality, from this time dimension, where where the kingdom of heaven exists, where all the solutions to your problems exist, where the fullness of life exists, where everything lies where you live you no longer uh, exist you live you no longer survive you play you're having fun and what remains of you is love love unconditional love true love playfulness curiosity passion talent connection and suddenly The mirror is empty. The moment you surrender, the mirror is empty. It's it's a hold of oneness. There there is no mirror. There there is... It's an illusion. It's actually an illusion. It's like we are one organism and everyone else is an aspect of me and I'm part of that organism and uh, just like all the cells in our body and uh, I realized that there is this one universal mind, human mind and that's where I I realized that we are are gods inside and um, the God consciousness manifests itself through our body avatars, through our body mind's avatar in this time dimension. And uh, each of us carries a unique essence, a unique energetic mix of that God consciousness which manifests itself in this reality as, as, as unique, as unreplaceable you can be replaced and this is where all your power lies in connecting with the truth of who you are with your inner world that's where everything lies this is your power you cannot be replaced you are unreplaceable you are worthy worthiness has to come from within from the truth of who you are you can't be replaced, you are needed. Nobody can do what you are supposed to do here. Nobody can fulfill your purpose. And this is how you break the cage of identity. This changed my life forever. I'm living, I'm actually living my best life without having a lot of money, without having. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm abundant, I, I have abundance, but uh, uh, I have, I, I'm really full with everything I have in the present moment. And 
that's uh, that's why experience abundance in everything. You, you don't have to have anything to experience the abundance of this reality. It's all within you. <laughs> and that's how you, you change your life forever, guys. So this is the video for today. If you like this message, share the video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. You know, make sure you follow on Facebook and on Instagram and uh, observe there. I share uh, information that is going to help you to heal yourself, to uh, raise your consciousness, to raise your vibration. And until next time, guys, peace and glory.